Okay, so from last time, um, we worked out some of these problems converting to polar equations from rectangular, and we also did um, some up here that were from uh, rectangular to polar. Um, and so I just want to continue with that um, and see how we go from there. So in this example that we have here, we see that uh, in 13a, if r is negative 6, we're not given an angle, but we know that the radius is a negative 6. So this here is the pole. And so going negative 6, and you can see it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is a negative 6 distance. But since we don't have um, since we don't have an angle, we know that this thing is just going to loop around, and so I'll do this in a different color, so we can see it. So it's going to loop around. This way, and we can see uh, here it's negative six, here it's six, and here it's six. And so when we're given r is equal to some number, we know that that's going to end up being a circle if we are in polar. Now, since uh, they want us to give the equation in terms of rectangular, uh, one of the things that we need to remember is that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So then x squared plus y squared is equal to a negative 6 squared, which is going to give us x squared plus y squared is equal to 36. Um, and that will be our answer to this equation. Okay, does that make sense? You guys are okay with that? Okay, so <laughs> thanks for replying. I just want to make sure that you guys follow. Okay, so the next problem, it, uh, part B on this one, it says that the angle is pi over three, and so I'll do that in a different color. Um, let's let's use red for this. So if pi, I mean if the angle is pi over 3, uh, this is the angle right. And so it's just going to be a straight line. But that line is also going to go the other way. Because that line goes on forever. Right? And the reason I got that was because I'm going that angle pi over 3. Does that make sense? Okay, now from here though they want a rectangular equation and since we want a rectangular equation for this what we need to remember is um, how, do, how can we get x and y and so to do that we need to remember that tangent of theta is equal to y over x and so in this example we have the theta so we're going to say okay tangent of pi over 3 is equal to y over x and we know that uh, tangent of pi over 3 is equal to what number can you guys tell me that If you don't have your uh, unit circles out, uh, please get them out because uh, I do want you guys to participate so we can get some information from you, okay? So do you guys know what tangent of pi over 3 is? Mm 
No. All right, it's Radical 3. Um, it's Radical 3, so that's something that, that you guys should know. Um, now, from there, I'm going to solve this thing by going multiplying both sides by x. So I'm going to multiply this side by x and multiply this side by x. So I'm going to end up with y is equal to radical 3x. And so my answer is radical 3x. That is the same as theta is equal to pi over 3. Do you have any questions on either one of those two? One of the important things to remember is we, we need to know uh, these equations. Um, if we don't know these equations, we end up um, struggling because we don't know how to convert these problems. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, so those two equations are going to be imperative going forward. Um, so just want to make sure that you guys get that so you're okay. All right, so let's go on to the next example. Um, and again, I'll, I'll work this out. This is asking us to convert from polar to rectangular again. So in this problem now, we're given that r is equal to a negative 4 sine theta. So one of the things we need to remember is that... Uh, We need to remember that um, how do we correlate x and y um, with our thetas? Do you guys remember? So if we have um, uh, didn't we say that sine of theta was equal to y over r, right? So then. Um, What we could do here is we could say, okay, um, we can remember that this is r sine theta is equal to y. And then if we want to do cosine theta, we can remember that cosine theta is x over r or r cosine theta is equal to x. These are just formulas that we're trying to generate to remember. Um, now, since we want to, um, since we want to be able to figure this out, right? What we can do is this, and this will be very, very good and helpful. Um, R is equal to a negative four sine theta. Then, what we can do is square both sides, and I did this before, or I multiply both sides by r, I'm sorry, if you guys remember this. And the reason I'm doing this is look at what happens. What is, let me change the color here, what is r sine theta equal to from what I just showed you? Do you guys see it? What is r sine theta equal to from the equations I just had? That's right, it's y. And so uh, another thing that we need to remember, and I had just written it up above, is r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. So, what is r squared equal to? In terms of x and y. Isn't it equal to this guy right here? 
so what we end up with is this r squared, I can rewrite as x squared plus y squared, is equal to a negative 4, and we said y, correct? So then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go x squared plus y squared plus 4y is equal to 0. Okay, and then one of the steps that we did prior in this class was completing the square. And so what I need to do is complete the square here. And just in case you guys don't recall, I'll show that step again. So to complete the square there, I'm going to take half of the y numbered term. So the y has what coefficient in front of it? What number is in front of just the y? It's a 4. Good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 4 and I'm going to divide it by 2 and then square it. This is how you complete the square every single time. You divide by 2 and square. So I'm going to get uh, 2 squared, which gives me 4. So when I complete the square here, I'm going to get y squared plus 4y plus 4. But since I added 4 there, I have to add 4 on the other side. Because that keeps our balance. Does that make sense? Adding 4 here means I have to add 4 here to keep everything equal, to keep it the same, okay? So then I'm gonna get x squared plus, now this thing here is factorable, and from your algebra one and algebra two class, this is gonna be x plus two, that quantity squared is equal to four. So then my rectangular uh, form is going to be x squared plus y plus 2 squared is equal to 4. Are we okay with that? Do you guys need some clarification or anything on that one? Because that problem is a bit involved and, I mean, it will come up in the homework. Uh, the big key, the big trick to this problem uh, really was this step right here. Because what I did was I multiplied both the left and right side by R. Um, so that I could make that green highlighted piece become Y. Does that make sense to you guys? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so then let's do B, if you guys are okay with that. Uh, we'll go on to do B. Uh, so B, I'm going to write it a little bit different. So I'm going to go R over 1 is equal to 1 over 8 cosine of theta plus 3 ooh, sine 3 sine of theta and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross multiply okay uh, so when I cross multiply I'm going to get r times 8 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta is going to be equal to 1. Are we okay with that step? And guys, feel free to, like, instead of just typing, you can um, just uh, unlock your mics or unmute your mics so that you can just say, yeah, I got it. Um, it's sometimes it's kind of weird just talking to a computer <laughs> and waiting for you guys to, to type back. Um, okay. So then from here, from here, 
Um, I'm going to distribute, so I'm going to get 8r cosine theta plus 3r sine theta is equal to 1. But, but, what is r sine theta? That's right. What is R cosine theta? Good. R cosine theta, we have it over here. And so you can see it's a slightly darker color. Uh, that's going to be X. And so I can rewrite this as 8X plus 3Y is equal to 1. Uh, this is in standard form. Um, which would be okay as an equation for me um, on a test if it was a free written exam. But typically what ends up happening is Alex wants you to write it in um, slope intercept form. And so to do that, the equivalent, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move the um, 8x over. So I'm gonna get 3y is equal to a negative 8x plus one. And then I'm going to divide by 3. So when I divide everything by 3, I'm going to get y is equal to a negative 8 over 3x plus 1 third. And this is probably the answer that Alex will want. Um, and that's in slope-intercept form. And so that I would put y is equal to a negative 8 thirds x plus one third. We got it? Okay. Do you have any questions on that or, or are you guys good? Oh, okay, so here, is this what you mean, Oscar? Oh, okay, because if you remember, um, slope intercept form is y is equal to mx plus b, right? And so what I did to show the steps, um, to get here, what I did is I subtracted 8x from here so I had to subtract 8x from this side. So then that left me with the 3y. And then to end up at this next step, to end up at where my answer is, I divided by 3 here. So I had to divide this by 3 and then divide this by 3. And that's how I ended up with my answer. Does that make sense? OK. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, ask questions, please. It's great. Okay, I'm going to leave that example there for you. Um, or you have those notes. Why don't you guys try 15, and then I'll work it out. But I want to give you guys an opportunity to try it on your own. That way you guys can let me know, all right, I get or don't get this. Let me give you guys, um, I don't know. Um, I'll give you three minutes to do part A. And then I'll do it, okay? So please try it.
Uh, Leah, they're just trying a problem. They're trying a 15A right now. So if you want to try it real quick, that'd be great. Um, I'm giving them a few more minutes. Okay, cool. So let me try it and see if we get something similar to what you got. Um, but you're very, very close. Uh, so check this out. So based off what we did, um, I'm going to cross multiply, right? So I'm going to have R over 1, negative cosine theta minus 9 sine theta. over four, so I, silly me. So when I cross multiply, I'm gonna get R, uh, negative eight cosine theta minus nine sine theta is equal to four. And then when I distribute, I'm going to get a negative 8R cosine theta minus 9R sine theta is equal to 4. Um, and then that's X. That's Y. So I'm going to get negative 8X minus 9Y is equal to 4. Then when I bring the uh, negative 8x over, I'm going to get negative 9y is equal to 8x plus 4, right? And the reason that's a plus is because uh, I'm adding 8x, so I'm going to add 8x over here. And then when I divide by the negative, I'm going to get 8 over 9 negative x minus 4 over 9. And that's what I get. So, uh, Oscar, just the negative signs when you divide by the negative 9, and that would be it. So, y is equal to a negative 9, 8 over 9x minus 4 ninths. Yes, actually, you had it. It's just, uh, just the signs right there, but very, very close. Okay, uh, why don't you guys try B? And uh, see if you guys can do B. And uh, Leah, uh, that one uh, is like 14A. Um, if you want to try and see if you can do it. But all right, why I, I'll give you guys two minutes for this one and see if you guys can get any equations for, for, for this one. And we'll go from there.
Wow, do you guys got it? Or do you want me to just do it? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so let me do it and we'll, we'll see. All right, so our problem starts off with R is equal to six cosine of theta. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go R and then here's six cosine theta. And just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm gonna multiply this side by R. So I'm gonna multiply that side by R, correct? That's the first trick with this type of problem. So then I'm gonna end up with R squared is equal to six R cosine of theta. But what do we know about uh, R cosine of theta? Yes, it's X. So then we know that this side is going to be six X. And what do we know about R squared? Don't we know that it is uh, x squared plus y squared, right? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring the six over to the one side, the six x, so I'm gonna get this. And now that side's equal to zero. Um, and now to complete the square, here is where I'm gonna complete the square, correct? So the side work there, and I, I want, I'll, I'll do it in a different color so you guys can see. It's gonna be a negative six. Again, I divide by two and then I square. So what's gonna end up happening there is I'm going to get a negative three. That squared is going to be nine. So my problem is gonna be x squared minus six x plus some y squared is equal to zero fix that but I need to add 9 here and since I add 9 there I have to add 9 on the other side are we okay with what I've got so far okay cool now this then is factorable, right? And since that's factorable, what is that, guys? Can you guys tell me what that factors to? So I'm gonna get x minus three squared plus y squared is equal to nine. So my rectangular form equation will be this. Now, what do we know about this? Oops. What kind of an equation is this? Any of you? What is that equation that I just boxed? What kind of equation is that? Is that a line? Is it a parabola, a hyperbola, a circle? What is it? That's exactly what it is. This is a circle. Now, one of the important things is the center of this thing can be found at three comma zero, and the radius is going to be three. It's going to be 
the square root of 9. So that way when you go to graph this thing, if you needed to graph it, you could easily uh, find a way to graph it. Okay? Um, you have your center and then you just have to go three out from there and draw your circle. Okay. Let's do this polar problem. We're gonna, they're asking us to graph it. Um, and if you're not comfortable with polar, typically what we do is we go to, um, we go to rectangular to graph because we've spent so much time graphing in rectangular that that's just the easier way to graph. So I'm gonna show you guys how to convert this to rectangular and then graph it. So in fact, it's exactly like the part B problem. Uh, would you guys like to try it or do you want me to just work it out and then you guys can do 20? So you want me to work it out? Okay, so I'll do that. So this is for number 19 here. So we have r is equal to a negative 4 sine theta. And so the trick here again, we're going to multiply by the r to both sides, right? So it's going to be r times and then negative 4 sine theta. And I'm going to multiply by r and multiply by r. So since I multiplied both sides by r, it's still balanced. So I'm going to get r squared is equal to a negative 4r sine theta. But we know that x that r squared is x squared plus y squared. And we know that r sine is y. And so this is going to be x squared plus y squared, right, plus 4y is equal to zero. So we need to complete the square. So four divided by two squared is two squared, which is four. So we're gonna get x squared plus y squared plus four y is equal to zero. But we know that we need to add Four and add a four. So that's going to give us x squared plus y plus two squared is equal to four. Now that we have that, right? Now that we have our equation, we know that the center is where? Because that's important. Where is the center going to end up being in this problem? Uh, not four comma zero. So the equation for a circle, just so you guys know, is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So the center is h comma k and the radius is just r. So, uh, close to Leah, we're going to get, for x, is there an h? So here, I'll try to help you guys. If I went x minus what would give me x squared? So it should be 0 plus y plus 2 squared is equal to, and then this is two squared. So maybe that'll help you guys. So what's my x coordinate? What is my x coordinate here? Here, I'll help you guys. Isn't that the h and isn't that the k? And so it's zero, but see how that's a plus two? So uh, Leah's right, it should be a negative two. 
What is my radius? Here, my radius will be a two. So when I go to graph this thing, if I were to find the points, it would be zero, two. So that is the center of my circle, right? Because this is a circle. And then the radius is two. So I'm going to, I'll do it in a different color. So two away and two away. Um, and so the circle is going to look something like this. Okay. Does that make sense? Are we okay with that? I just want to make sure that you guys feel comfortable with it. Okay. So, okay, why don't you guys try number 20? Um, well, cool, Oscar. Uh, why don't you try 20 and see if you can follow the steps that I did on 19. Okay, so I'll leave 19 up so you can look at it while you try number 20, which is R2 cosine theta. So it's very, very similar. Try it and then we'll work it out together and see if we can do the graphing piece. Okay. So go ahead and try that. Okay, you guys ready? Or do you need another minute?
All right, so let me get, let me try this for you guys, okay? Oops. So we have R2 cosine theta, and what's our first step then? Perfect, yes, I'm gonna multiply both sides by r. So I'm gonna get r squared 2r cosine theta. And then we have to translate, correct? So r squared now we know is x squared plus y squared. And then I'm gonna get two what? Yeah, two x. Now, when I bring the 2x over, I'm going to get x squared minus 2x plus y squared is equal to 0. And so here's where I need to complete the square. So I have the 2x, so I'm going to take that negative 2. I'm going to divide it by 2 and then square. So that's going to be at negative 1 squared, which is a 1. And so I should get x squared minus 2x. Oops. I want to be consistent with what I've done. So I got to add one here. So I got to add one there. So I keep balance on both sides. Now this is factorable. So I should get x minus one, that quantity squared, plus y squared is equal to one. And this is our equation. Now, since this is our equation, what do we have? <coughs> Excuse me. What is this? Is this again, is it a line, a parabola, hyperbola, circle? Again, we have a circle. So good. We've got to know that it's a circle. So what is the vertex of this thing? A vertex is just another name for center, right? So remember the center has an X and a Y. So it's always going to be in terms of x and y. So what is our x? OK, so it's positive 1, 0. And the reason, again, is it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And so see how there, it's a minus sign in between. The center is hk, which is positive. Vertex, I shouldn't say vertex, that's fine. Vertex is for parabola, I'm crazy. Um, and then the radius, is simply the r. So do you see why it's 1 comma 0? It's always going to be the opposite sign of what's on the inside. Okay, what is the radius? The radius should be what? Yeah, exactly. It should be a 1. So now when we go to graph this thing, um, see how here this is the x coordinate, this is the y coordinate. And so 1, 0 
tells us to go to the right one and then put a point. So that is our center. The circle then is a radius of one away. So that's one away, that's one away. And there is my circle. Are we okay with that? Okay, perfect. So let me let me just do one thing with you guys because I, I think it's important you guys get this. Um, so if I gave you x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared was equal to 16, can you guys tell me what the center is and what the radius is? So my center is negative 2, 3, perfect, and my radius is 4. Is there any questions on that, or you guys, you guys get it okay? Okay with that? You know, um, one of the things too that you guys can do. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm sure you meant to say good, but that's okay. <laughs> that's funny. Um, what you guys can do too is you guys do you guys see on the partition? Are you guys do you guys see the participation? Uh, participants um, thing on your page do you see how there's a yes no go slower go faster type thing so what you guys can do and let's try this real quick I just want to make sure that you guys um, have that so if I ask like a yes no question like I'm like hey are you guys okay uh, you can just click yes. I want to see how that works. So uh, will you guys all click yes just so I can see? Leah and Oscar, do you guys see that? Here, I'm gonna stop recording I, I just so I can post this. So I'll stop. <laughs>